Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I want to introduce a new simulation feature that has been added in 2017 um, regarding the display of uh, simulation results within the CAD environment. So over here I've got an assembly and I have a study that's already done for us. So let me show you some results. I'm going to click on the stresses. Here I see some stress results, some displacement results, and I've got a cr I've created another stress uh, uh, plot with just uh, one of the um, arms of the assembly, basically. So the new feature uh, that was added in 2017 was uh, now if I want to get out of the simulation environment and go back to my CAD modeling environment, so I just click on this model tab over here, and you notice all the simulation results, the whole window is gone. Um, that's because we are in the uh, CAD work, uh, workplace now. So in 2017, if you go to your view settings, and if I click on that, you'll see a new option for simulation display. Now, as soon as I click this, SOLIDWORKS knows um, how, what different studies uh, are, have been done. So over here, it sees your uh, different stresses, your strains, and the displacement plots. So if you had multiple studies uh, done and multiple plots uh, done for those studies, all of those will uh, show over here. And from here, I can just select uh, whichever study I want to, um, the, the coloring scheme that I want to show in the CAD environment as well. So over here, if I select stress one, you notice it shows me uh, both those. I create I created stress 2, which is only on one of the arms, so I'm just going to use that. And as you notice, um, the the simulation values, uh, I mean, sorry, the coloring scheme based on, you know, what the legend uh, is in simulation just pops right up. And uh, I get some more options over here, so I can uh, you know, check the box for deformed results and see what happens. So if I uncheck this, um, it goes back to its original state, whereas if I check it, SOLIDWORKS is going to display the deformed results, so basically the displacement that's happening is going to show you those results uh, in the CAD work, uh, workplace. Um, also, the same with uh, the mesh settings. If I click this and uh, show mesh, it will show you how um, the mesh has been created. And of course, the legend as well. So it's, it's good to have legend is, uh, legends around um, uh, in, in, with your coloring screen, so it gives you a good idea of what's actually happening and what are the values. Uh, um, so some of the tools are uh, you know uh, playing with the um, reflection so if I move this bar left and right notice how uh, it changes the, uh, the the amount of reflection that's happening on that particular arm uh, some transparency options and some brightness options so if I move this to the side you'll notice it gets really bright so I'll just keep it down here for uh, for better view viewing and uh, once I hit, hit the green check over here it uh, keeps those uh, views. It keeps uh, keeps the coloring, uh, simulation coloring uh, scheme and the legend right there as well. Um, gives us more uh, tools to communicate better with our clients and uh, you know show um, simulation results in the CAD environment uh, pretty easily. So, all right. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.